Good morning, YouTube. My name's Evie, and today we'll be going over all the requests in the jungle nighttime. A figure of beauty. For this one, make sure you're on research level one. We're gonna go forward a little bit to the tree that's fallen over. Once you're here, look up and to your right, and there should be a sleeping Arbok. Throw a fluff root at it until it wakes up. Now that scares away one life hard. Now we're gonna scan and throw a Lumina Orb at the other life hard behind the grass. Now that one's gonna go away. Now we're gonna look forward and turbo boost a little bit. And in the tree, you should see another sleeping life hard. Once you're able to target it, play some music. Now it'll wake up and run away. Now we're gonna continue straight on the path and you should see all the life hards sleeping together. Now throw some Lumina Orbs at them. Now they're gonna stand on their hind legs. There we go. Now you can quit and submit. An unusual spot. For this one, we're going to stay on the main path and go by the swamp. Once you're here, you should see a sleeping Lipard in the tree. We're going to get a little bit closer. Look backwards and there should be another sleeping Lipard on the cliff. Throw a Lumina Orb at it. Now we're going to turn around and go to the area above the ruins. Once you're here, a Lipard should appear in the tree right over here. There we go. Get a little bit closer and throw a Lumina Orb at it. Now it'll jump down and knock you off. There we go. Look around for the Crystal Bloom and throw a Lumina Orb at it. This should summon a bunch of Lydian. Now look to your right and one should have landed on the floor. Throw a Fluff Root at it. And wait for her to eat. Take a picture of her eating the Fluff Root. Now you can quit and submit. Arbok falls asleep. For this one, make sure you're on research level 1. It's going to be done at the beginning of the level where the Arbok is sleeping on the branch. Once you get here to the area with the tree that's fallen over, look to the upper right and there's a sleeping Arbok. Throw three fluff root at it. There we go. Now we're going to pass this tree and throw a fourth one at it. It's going to fall down. Take a picture of that. Now you can quit and submit. Just make sure it's a four star photo. Bounce Suite's Amazing Journey. This one's going to be done at the beginning of the level. We're going to turbo boost a little bit and look to our left and there's going to be two sleeping bounce suite right over here. Play some music and they'll wake up. Now they're going to fly on over to the spider web right over here. Once they get here, they'll get stuck on the spider web. Now we're going to zoom in and throw a fluff root at Ariados. Once he wakes up, take a look at bounce suite and take a picture of their reaction. Now you can quit and submit. Resting its wings. This one's going to be done at the beginning of the level. Once you get to this fallen over tree, look up and to the right, and you'll see a Yanmega on the branch. Take a picture of it sleeping. Now you can quit and submit. Tonight's dinner. For this one, we're going to go to the area just before the waterfall. Once you're here and you see the life heart on the rock, look at it and play some music. This will cause it to move out of the way. Now you could scan and take the alternate route. Once we're behind the waterfall, we're going to throw a fluff root at Morlal and take a picture of it eating. Now you could quit and submit. Tree Dwelling Pokemon. For this one, we're going to go to the area just above the ancient ruins. Once you get here, scan to help you find the crystal bloom in the tree. It's going to be hidden behind this two cannon, so we're going to move a little bit forward. And now we're going to throw three Illumina Orbs at the Crystal Bloom. One, two, and three. Now the two cannon are going to fly around. And we're going to take a picture of them flying. Now you can quit and submit. Triple Threats. For this one, make sure you're on research level one. When we're going to go to the first Crystal Bloom just before the swamp. Once you're here, scan to help you find the Crystal Bloom. Throw a Illumina Orb at it. Now you can scan and take the alternate path. Once you've taken it, play some music and look behind. Now a Yan Mega should fly by. Now we're going to go through the grass. Once we're through the grass, we're going to play music one more time. And we're going to wait for Yan Mega to show up again. There we go. That'll wake up this Ariados in the cave. Throw a Lumina Orb at Ariados and two more should show up from the back. Now focus your camera on Ariados and get ready to take a picture. Take a picture of the interaction with Yan Mega in frame. Now you can quit and submit. 
Where's the fruits? For this one, we're going to go to the first crystal bloom just before the swamp. Once you're here, scan to help you find the crystal bloom, throw a Lumina orb at it, now you can take the alternate route. Once you're through the grass, you'll see it's locking in front of you. Every time he stops, scan to make him move forward. There we go. That's two, three, and four. Now he's going to go into the tree, grab a fruit, and eat it. Take a picture of that. Now you can quit and submit. Why so still? For this one, we're going to go to the first crystal bloom just before the swamp. Once you're here, scan to help you find the crystal bloom and throw a Lumina orb at it. Now look at Leafeon and throw a Fluffroot at her. Now we're going to wait for her to run through the grass. There we go. Now we can scan and take the alternate route. Once you're through the grass, look at Leafeon and play some music. This should make the Ariados come down. Leafeon will run away into the swamp. And Swampert will pop out. Throw a Lumina orb at Swampert. And now he'll start playing with Leafeon. Take a picture of that, now you can quit and submit. Thanks for watching, hope the video helped you out. I'm gonna go get ready for GoFest, and I'll see you next time.